starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Lily Zoller. Today on Up North at Four, our first guest will tell us about what he's doing to bring and spread art throughout the Northwoods. Then we'll hear from a culinary expert about the student-run restaurant right here in Rhinelander. She'll even show us a few tips and tricks you can implement into tonight's cooking. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Unemployment here in the Northwoods was slightly up for the month of December. This follows the record low unemployment estimates for the month of November. While the numbers ticked up just a bit last month, they remain near record low. Oneida, Lincoln, and Vilas County sit at an unemployment rate of between 2 and 3 percent for the month. That's around half of what they were about a year ago. The popular World War II museum in Portage is closing its doors, but they won't stay shut forever as the tourist attraction will relocate to Marshfield soon. The History Museum has been a staple in the community for nearly 10 years. Now, an Army veteran purchased the massive collection and will be moving it just two hours north. He hopes to have the museum up and running on May 1st. Well, William Defoe made his Saturday Night Live debut this weekend, and he let his Wisconsin roots shine. Defoe is best known for his role in the Spider-Man films, but before that, he grew up in Appleton and even went to college in Milwaukee. The actor talked about his childhood and performed a skit about a couple from Wisconsin. Defoe went on to make use of his Wisconsin accent and even used the most Wisconsin term I can think of, bubbler. While many of us are still mourning the Packers' loss, the show must go on. And that it did as Super Bowl 56 is set after a wild championship yesterday. Early in the day, Cincinnati shocked Kansas City on the road to win the AFC. It will be their first Super Bowl appearance in 33 years. And on the other side, the Rams also came from behind to beat San Francisco. For the second straight year, a team will play the big game in its home stadium. The Super Bowl is February 13th on NBC. And Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now. Jeff, happy Monday. How's hey, the weather Lily, outside well, I looking? Think you betcha ranks up there with the bubbler in terms of Wisconsin terms, right? So out there today for us, though, we have lots of clouds and a little bit of sun with temperatures hanging out in the 20s today. Tomorrow, though, while you're sitting down, we're going to try to break freezing tomorrow for about two hours, and then a cold front's going to come through, and we're going to really cool off tomorrow night. Outside right now, it's 27 in Rhinelander with a southeast breeze around 11, uh, helping to pump in those warmer temperatures and also create that cloud cover out there right now. It's 30 in Wausau. Congratulations. A southeast breeze too, around 10 miles per hour as well. Okay, so around the horn, temperatures are hanging out in the 20s and a couple low 30s. We are above average today. I have not said that pretty much in forever. Uh, tomorrow, same story, followed by a big cool downs on the way because, you know, it's January heading into February. The cold air typically wins. This cold air is going to beat out that warm air. And then tomorrow, a cold front's going to come through and this is what's going to happen. So we're going to briefly touch 33 tomorrow and then whoop, right back down to nine on Wednesday, seven on Thursday, nine on Friday. And then those are twenties back in the forecast for next weekend. Keep in mind we're heading into February are about normal twenties are these single digits are not. All right, so we played on this all weekend. Our snowpack is getting a workout, as you know, with nine inches in Rhinelander, 11 in Wausau. We could use some more snow, and I know a lot of you are asking for more snow, but the storm track is going around us right now. Uh, there's not a lot of snow in our forecast anytime soon. There is lots of cloud cover tonight. A couple of flurries can't be ruled out. There is a system, some energy right here, uh, but that is basically going to become a big storm. Part of this is across the southwest beginning tomorrow and move to our south. In fact, here is the snowfall forecast and look what happens across central Illinois midweek, Wednesday, Thursday. They could see more than a foot of snow, but again, not for us. We're high and dry around here. Our forecast then tonight though is mostly cloudy skies. A flurry can't be ruled out with not so low, low temperatures near 23. Your full forecast at five o'clock. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Call Wisconsin's number one remodeler, Mad City Baths, your window and bath partner of the Green Bay Packers. For easy access, tub to shower conversions and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. 
Act now to be one of 50 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior and military discounts. And we're going to take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program to receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. And ask about Mad City's Do More discount on extra savings on new Eco Sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. You can trust Mad City will treat you right and put a great product in your home. We just wanted something we didn't have to worry about again. And we've seen this at Mad City or that. We thought, wow, that's the way to go. For the first time when it was actually all done, I actually had tears in my eyes because, like I said, it, it really looked nice. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers. A-plus rating with the BBB. Imagine replacing your old bath with a new walk-in shower, barrier-free shower, walk-in tub with premium wall patterns including quartz, Santa Cruz, and more installed in as little as one day. Remember, 50 homeowners who call now will receive free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest and no payments. Senior and military discounts. Let us take the before and after pictures and listen to this. You'll be compensated for your time. And if you call now, you get a $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. From Wausau and North Central Wisconsin, called now with zip code and location to qualify. 715-941-4238. 715-941-4238. And welcome back to Up North at Four. We are here with Tom Barnett from Tom's Drawing Board, but not just that. He's just about everything <laughs> Ryan Lander, as you we were just saying. Tom, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So... It's hard to pick where to start because, as we mentioned, you're everything Rhinelander. But the Hodag statues that you've been working on recently, tell us a little bit about that. So I uh, decided I wanted to try and create these little Hodag statues because, you know, Rhinelander, you build a Hodag, someone's going to buy it. Um, so I thought I'd add that to my little store down on Brown Street. And uh, my first attempt was a disaster. I made, them, I made the, uh, the Hodag out of clay and my idea was to make a mold out of it and then mass produce it using the mold, just pouring plaster and plaster and all that. And uh, the mold dried, I popped it out and it shattered. Oh, so shoot. I gave up on the mold making. Uh. Now I'm just <laughs> going to make them as individual pieces right. and I will number them so that when people buy them, they'll have a numbered in the series of Hodag statues. And when I think of people in Rhinelander who are very busy, you know, Ryan Zietlow is on that mm -hmm. list and Tom Barnett is on the top of that list. <laughs> you have Tom's drawing board, of course. You're mm -hmm. also busy with the fair. You also mm -hmm. had a recent TED talk. I did. And it was about, you know, when I think of you, I think personality and trying to exude you know, Northwoods personality and culture. Is that what your TED Talk was about? Yeah, it was about the Northwoods, even just a generalized rural Northwoods, Wisconsin. It's about, it's about a creative placemaking and how the arts working with local government could bring in more tourism and just add a little bit more to the community and the, uh, the aesthetics of downtown. Hmm. Absolutely, and when I got the pleasure of wa watching it, it really it came across that how passionate you are about you know yeah. bringing art to this rural area, and you know how did it feel to get to do all that and show that in a TED talk? It was fun. I, I was a little nervous when uh, uh, David Holt had asked me to uh, be part of the TED talk, and I said, yeah, sure, I can I can do that. I can come up with a uh, uh, a talk about you know rural art placing and. Um, then he told me that, oh, by the way, you're going to be the first one on so that everyone else will uh. follow you and you're going to kind of set the stage for it. And I'm like, great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like going last sometimes. You know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it, it turned out really great. I mean, it was, it was honestly a lot of fun. And uh, I, like you said, I have a passion about talking about art and I know how it can affect a rural community in a positive way. So. And you and I recently were part of the Rhinelander Chamber of Commerce Awards. You were really? there. Um, it, you know, you have a business downtown. It's doing well. Mm -hmm. What do you have plans for for Valentine's Day coming up next? So on February 10th, I know it's a few days before Valentine's Day, but I want to make sure that people have the opportunity to do it. Um, I'm inviting couples, or even if you just want to come by yourself, uh, to come down to a class I'll be holding at 6 o'clock p.m. on uh, February 10th, and it'll be a Valentine's-themed oil painting that I'll be teaching. Yeah. And uh, I'll have, you know, little snacks and some wine and stuff like that for everybody to uh, enjoy. And some more wine. And some more, more wine, yeah. <laughs> and is this something you've done before? Yeah, yeah, I've done it in the past uh, couple of years. I've done a Valentine's Day-themed kind of party and everything, and... Uh, 
it, it's usually a very nice little quaint uh, gathering. Couples have a lot of fun doing it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, playing around with each other's paintings and stuff like that, and especially after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, it's always a good time. It's always a good time. Let's talk Oneida County Fair. Let's of course, do it. That is a big passion baby of yours. Yes. What do we have planned right now? So right now, we obviously still have the Sexiest Men's Legs in a Kilt contest coming, which Jeff is my MC for. Um, we, have, we, have, we have some pretty good entertainment. We have Miller and Mike coming back. They're a duo of, uh, a comedy duo that walks around the fair, does a lot of stuff for the kids and everything. They're mm -hmm. very, very funny guys. Um, we had them there about four years ago, and they were a huge yeah. hit. Um, but yeah, we're working on bringing possibly a lumberjack show to the fair. That'd be new. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm always thinking of something new. You always got to give people something new. I've met you. New. I know. Your brain's yes. like mine. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but, uh, you know, we're also having our telethon again this year, our second annual telethon. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm kicking that off. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> he is. Yay. He is. And uh, so if anybody out there has a talent that we could use, please contact us because we would love to uh, have you on the telethon and you can help us out raising money and uh, to put on a great fair because we've recently gone independent from the county. Yes, so. which is a, probably a good thing. Yeah. Let you yep. go your, take your route and right. yeah. so far steered it in the right direction. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I know that I'm really looking forward to getting to go to the fair again. So awesome. Thank you so much for chatting Thanks, with Lily. us, Tom. This was great. We will be right back after the break to talk with a culinary expert about a restaurant that just reopened here in Rhinelander. Welcome to today's Elite Money Minute with the Elite Advisor Team. How is it that some folks can just run the table and seem to make shot after shot? Well, the most successful pool sharks plan multiple shots before they even take their first. But how do you tell where the cue ball is gonna end up? So if I hit the ball high or low, right or left, I can control the spin of the ball and I can set myself up for the next shot. Sounds a lot like planning for retirement. We use the Memories and Milestones Roadmap to put our clients in the best position for their next step in retirement. Like helping them understand why drawing Social Security later might position them better with their taxes or showing them how the Roth conversion today can make a big impact down the road. If you'd like to learn how the M&M Retirement Roadmap can help position you to make your retirement dreams a reality, give our office a call, 800-469-2040. That's today's Elite Money Minute. Visit our website at retireidea.com. What are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marina Motorsports in Shano. Lowest prices guaranteed. We're matching deposits up to 1,000 bucks. And pick from the most boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show, February 24th through 27th, Shano. Wishing you were here? When you work at Merrill Steel, you can be. Merrill Steel offers flexible start times for first shift, as well as optional Fridays, giving you the work-life balance you deserve. So you can go from this to this. End your hunt now by visiting us at 900 Alderson Street in Schofield, texting us at 715-679-4198, or applying online at merrillsteel.com slash employment. And welcome back to Up North at Fort Jeff. I can't stay away. Okay, well, we are here with Vicki Mendham from the Culinary Arts Program at Nicolet. Vicki, welcome. welcome. Thank you. We are so excited to have you, and we are so excited to have these treats that Jeff is nearly already enjoying in front of us. Don't worry, you can eat them eventually. Okay, gotcha. All right, you have a lot of things going on. You're over at Nicolet. Uh, what's happening with the culinary department there? Well, this semester is where we run our top of the hill restaurant. So it's our student run restaurant and the students plan the menus and plan the themes. And we do a lot of recipe testing to get to the point that we can serve the public. Um, and you know, the public gets to come in and eat and kind of tell us how we're doing. So good. So awesome. Good. Okay. And so it recently reopened. Is that true? Right. Yep. We're serving um, in person and we're doing carryouts as well. 
Okay, and what are some of the best items on the menu, I have to know? Well, right now we're doing buffets, so we kind of do a lot of different countries. Um, this week we have a Mexican buffet coming up and a Finnish buffet. The following week we have a Vietnamese buffet and German. So we really do a lot of different, most of them are countries or a region of a country or even a state. Um, and it just really gives the students a really good chance to do some investigating and learn about a different culture. Yeah, I worked in a um, you know kind of high-end restaurant for a long time managing that, and you know I gotta say the line cooks and the chefs and the culinarians they have like an artistry to them and a passion to them. Are you are you attracting those students to Nicolay right now? Yeah, I think so, and we we definitely have room for more. Mm -hmm. um, but you know the the students really enjoy what they're doing, and they really get into the planning. Um, and when they, you know, get out into the workforce, they really get to shine and show off what they've learned. Yeah. And this is more than home ec class in high school. This Absolutely. Is, right. <laughs> this yeah. is a lot more than that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And you, you mentioned recipe testing. So are the students themselves making these recipes? Where do they come from? Um, they find them from all different sources. Some of them, um, some of the finished recipes we're doing this week, they're from the student's grandmother. Um, so we, we test them to make sure that we can do them for more large scale. Um, the students pick a theme um, in the first semester and they investigate that. Um, they do a report on you know, the things that you might see in that country and the, the cultures and the, the food traditions and things like that. And then mm -hmm. we test the recipes um, and then we do a lot of fixing. You know, some of them might need some color or some of them might need longer cook time or garnishing in particular. Yeah, and you know, art, in, this is, you know, technique is important in cooking in the culinary world, correct? Absolutely. Now, in the first year of the program, they learn a lot of the technique, the knife skills and measuring and sanitation and safety and things like that because, you know, if we can't serve people safely, right. we're not going to last very long. Right. So, You came bearing gifts. Absolutely. <laughs> always. You're always supposed to bring food, right? <laughs> yes. Lily, when can I go in here? <laughs> okay. Well, I want to hear a little. So are these made by students themselves? Yeah. These are some of the things that you might see if you come eat at the top of the hill. So it's hard to bring a whole buffet to show you. So of I course. just brought a few different desserts. No one's um, complaining. <laughs> we had an Italian buffet um, and we made cannoli for that one. Those are some dulce de leche cheesecakes, so we've made them on, on some of our menus. Um, they have chocolate ganache in them too, so. Um, and then, you know, the standard, or the maybe not so standard chocolate chip cookies, um, they're really very popular. Those you can get in the deli, so even if you can't get a reservation at the top of the hill, we have a deli service as well, so we can um, serve you some cookies or a burger or a chicken sandwich, even if you don't have a regular reservation. And speaking of those reservations, so, I mean, after seeing these and hearing the story, I think everyone's going to want to eat there. What do we do to get a reservation? So you need to call the top of the hill, um, and the students answer the phone while we're in class, which is on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 2. Um, and right now we're very, very close to being full, but we also have wait lists. Um, but starting March 2nd, we will open our a la carte reservations. So the second half of the semester, you still can definitely get in for. Awesome. Okay, well, we have to take a I quick gotta grab my break. Phone. But we will be <laughs> right back with more from you, Vicki. All right. <laughs> My accident? My accident happened in a second. My settlement? That's taking a really long time. If you've been injured in an accident and need money now while your case settles, call Oasis today. We'll work with your attorney, and if you're approved, get you $500 to $100,000 in as little as 24 hours. If you lose your case, you don't have to pay Oasis back, ever. Applying for Oasis Express Cash is easy and takes three minutes. Call Oasis now or go online to apply. Let down your hair for the sweetest jam yet. Oh, I can't get enough. I hate the Hudson's. I'm not a fan anymore. New That's My Jam tonight on NBC. It's been a long time since I've been mad. <laughs> it's a star studded tribute to one of America's most beloved comedy icons, celebrating Betty White, America's Golden Girl, tonight on NBC. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. 
When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. President's Day is the best time to buy furniture, and Slumberland Furniture is having one of their biggest sales of the year. Wow. Wow is right. Deals up to 50% off throughout the store. Find a great accent piece, a warm fireplace, an amazing recliner. Incredible deals throughout the store. See why this is one of the best times of the year to buy furniture. The huge President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture. And for your new mattress, come to Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've reinvented mattress shopping. My students will yell. Welcome back to Up North at Four. We are back with Vicky and lots of baking supplies just in time for Valentine's Day. Okay, Vicky, you are the expert. I will hand this over to you. All right, so we're not quite to February, but we're already thinking it's Valentine's close. Day. Yes. Yeah, I think we're, we're definitely close enough. So, you know, we, we learn a lot of different skills in the program, and some of it is just plating and garnishing and making stuff look good. I mean, we've just got a plain old piece of cake and some fairly boring cupcakes mm -hmm. there. Um, and, you know, you can do a lot of little simple things, and I think simplicity is usually the key so that you don't try to try to go out and do too, too with much. With great flavors. So, exactly, yes. exactly. And, you know, that's one of the fun things with this is um, you can do buttercream, you can do whipped cream, and you can flavor them. Mm -hmm. You know, so depending on, you know, what you're doing, berries or whatever it might be, you can, you know, you can put the flavoring right inside of the whipped cream, have some chocolate whipped cream or something awesome. just a little bit Vanilla. different. Yum. So yeah. You know, so, you know, basically when you're, when you're doing plating, um, again, simplicity is key, and if we can teach the students kind of a basic skill, just making a rosette. You know, if you can just pipe a rosette, and you know, we have a star, a star tip here, um, and just putting a few things on. Um, we can do some sauces too if we want to, um, and you know, just simple. And then even to kick it up a notch, um, I should have my my gloves on here, but we just won't eat this. Um, you know, just a simple, a simple sprinkle or, or some smaller sprinkles. Um, and again, or you could do, go, you know, different and you can do um, a few different bat, um, berries because contrast of colors is really important as well. But look what that did to the plate. You know, that made it 10 times more appealing. Granted, a piece of cake is appealing. <laughs> right. Very. <laughs> right. better, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you can do a sauce on there as well. Or, you know, you can, you can hopefully you're going to make your cake. But even if you just go buy a cake, you can just, you know, make it. Spice it up just a little bit and add some color to it. And, this is how you and, wow your friends. Absolutely. Um, cupcakes are the same. You know, this could be whipped cream or this could be buttercream. Um, and it's just going to pipe pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and again, Doja. teachers only as good as their students. So hey, don't disappoint me, me, okay? Walk okay. me through this. All right. So you're going to start um, on the outside okay. and put some pressure on. Go around. And then, nice. and then stop. And there's Who's a, is better? I beautiful. don't know. Well, he's got to go a little bit further here. Here, here can we do a decorate berry. just a bit? Awesome. And then also, if you want to do some simple sauce work, um, you can get just a any kind of sauce and put it in a, a bottle and drizzle it on, and then you really got some nice flavor combinations going on. Is this edible on. glitter? It is. So if you really want to kick it up a notch, like for Valentine's Day, I'll give you that one. Um, you can take a edible glitter um, and put it on a pastry brush and just oh, look at that. wow and that really you know get a little bit on the berry there um, but that's what makes valentine's day they kind of that over the top step right yep. even some chocolate these are just some these chocolate are amazing crisps. oh my gosh put, and you know valentine's day you absolutely you need chocolate so <laughs> and you can do that on the plate <laughs> oh right? my gosh you know? a little bit of powdered sugar Absolutely. Yeah. We so. have, I'm, in, I'm in the presence of two culinary experts, <laughs> and I hate to say this, but we do have to take a quick break. But, Vicki, thank you so much for showing us and everyone how to make our Valentine's Day so delicious. Thank we'll you. be right back.
Give your home a fresh look with the beauty and durability of wall and floor tile from Mohawk. Clean Protect porcelain tile is waterproof and scratch and stain resistant to stand up to life's messes. The microband technology offers over 99% antimicrobial product protection, fighting against stain and odor causing bacteria for the life of the tile. Save big money with Mohawk Clean Protect exclusively at Menards. Save big money at Menards. All I wanted to do was help out a friend. You know, it was supposed to be just a couple of hours. It turned out to be multiple days. There is just so much junk. I asked him why didn't he hire some professional movers, and he said he couldn't afford it. Guess he never heard of Dan the Moving Man. Don't traumatize your friends. Call Dan the Moving Man. We want to make your move as easy as possible. That's why we offer affordable rates and an experienced staff that will take care of your belongings. Call us today for a free quote. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Did you know that insulating your basement walls and floor can make your home more comfortable and reduce your heating bill? Call Sure Dry Basement Systems today to book your free insulation estimate. Winter is here. Don't wait. Insulate. When you insulate your basement with our exclusive products, you'll eliminate damp walls and floors, provide moisture control to reduce the risk of mold growth, lower the risk of frozen pipes, and get rid of chilly drafts. Call 715-787-3379 or visit SureDryBasements.com today for your free estimate. Winter is here. Don't wait. Insulate. Weather can be weathered with technology there to help you in a Ford Escape. Winter roads can be tough. Bronco Sport tougher. And Explorer can take the bite out of chilly mornings. Ford. Winter like you mean it. Right now, lease an adventure ready 2021 Ford Explorer for $389 a month. Only your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. And welcome back. Somehow Jeff and I lasted a whole commercial break without eating all Vicky of Vicky knows the way to our heart. She, she does. Yes. I, I really want to eat them all. Jeff, are so, you a chocolate or vanilla person? I, I am chocolate. Know. I am too. Yes. But I mean, I want all of this. Me too. However, this is not really keto friendly for me, it's which not. is a problem, but I'm, I'm going to resist the temptation for now. But there are lots of you at home probably wondering where you could do something like this and how again do they get there? Yes. So you can call Top of the Hill Restaurant and the students will answer to make reservation. I've heard that the reservations are a little difficult to get. Yeah, so you said. are going to be, you are going to want to be on your game with that reservation making, especially for Valentine's Day, you know. This yeah, and I like the theme either. here because, you know, Vicki, te she's teaching students at, you know, at the college how to be better culinarians. We had Tom on talking about the culture of the Northwoods and all the great things he's doing with his TED Talk. You know, today's theme is great because there's so much talent in the Northwoods, you know, Not and only bringing that, that to life. Beautifying it, you know, just with this plate, adding the little rosettes and a bit of color. We learned about that. And then Tom beautifying the Northwoods with the art. I mean, it's all around so us. So much going on. So also going on is some weather, as we know. Uh, we, there's lots of you at home who would just love to have some snow. I know it's a thing. However, it's not going to happen. So, of course, lots of snow in December, a little snow in January. Now we're heading into February tomorrow. And there's just not a lot of snow in the forecast. So the trails are a little beat up. I was out there this week weekend on the trails and they could use a refresher and it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, however, we could flirt with freezing tomorrow. I know you like warmer temperatures uh, before we're going to fall off the cliff once again on Wednesday into Thursday. Okay, well, thank you so much, Jeff. And Jeff will be back with your full forecast at 5. Have a great evening.